Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to do my November wrap up. So in the month of November, it was personally not my best reading month by far. And I read a total of eight books, which is pretty good considering I was participating in NaNoWriMo all the month and that took up like 99% of my time. And on top of that, school is starting to wrap up for the fall semester. So both of those things took up a lot of time and I was surprised that I managed to read this many books. And I'm very happy with all of them. They all got between a three and a five star rating personally for me. So that means that I'm going to jump right in and get started. So the first book I read in the month of November was Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. Now, if you guys remember at the beginning of November, I talked about how nervous I was about this book going in for a couple of reasons. Number one is I had never read a book by this author. Lee Bardugo is a very beloved author here on booktube and in the book community in general. And I was afraid that I wouldn't like her writing style. And the other reason, and this is the primary reason why I was a little bit nervous going in, is because I did not like the Wonder Woman movie at all when it came out back in May. It personally wasn't for me. However, when I dived into this book, I was blown away about how much I enjoyed it. I really liked how Lee Rodrigo was able to take the character of Diana and for her in a more realistic situation than the movie was able to do, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really liked the characters. I wasn't a huge fan of the romance and the plot was a little slow going in, but overall I thought it was fantastic and I ended up giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. The next book I read in the month of November was The Fifth Way by Rick Yancey. This book was on my top 10 books I wanted to read in 2017 video. I will have that video linked down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. But this is a YA science fiction dystopian novel that follows our main character Cassie who lives in a near futuristic world where the earth has been invaded by aliens. And the alien invasion that's going on in this world kind of has come in waves. There was one wave there was a sickness took that took over the world and now that was just an example of the first four waves. The fifth wave is where uh, Cassie's brother has been captured by the aliens and taken away to be part of what will happen in the fifth wave. Now this book was interesting. It's told from more than one point of view. I think we get about five different characters points of view in this book which I don't think was necessary. If we had gotten maybe one or two characters I probably would have enjoyed it more. It didn't, wasn't the biggest fan of the characters and I, again I wasn't a huge fan of the romance but they all came together to make a very interesting story and I am interested in continuing on with the series. This de book definitely left off on a cliffhanger so I think I might pick up the next book sometime next year and I ended up getting this first book a 3 out of 5 stars. The next book I read this month was Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe and this is by Benjamin O'Leary Sands. This is, I listened to on audiobook and is narrated by Lin-Manuel Miranda who of course wrote Hamilton and that is the reason why I picked up this book in the first place but I thought it was so cute. As follows two main characters, this is a YA contemporary novel. The characters Aristotle and Dante are friends who meet one summer in a semi swimming course and they form a friendship and over the course of a year they start to turn into something more. This book is personally on the low, the younger age range of YA. Both of the characters I believe are 15 years old in this book and it takes place in the 80s. So there is some adult stuff that wouldn't be necessarily allowed today going on in this book but I still really really enjoyed it. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. The next book I read was The Maze Runner by James Dashner. This is another book that was on my top 10 books I want to read in 2017 video. And this is a YA dystopian novel that I'm sure you guys have all heard of. This follows our main character Thomas who wakes up one day in a maze and has no recollection of what has happened in his past. All he knows is his first name. This is a book that a lot of people either love or hate. The movies have gone in like fantastic reviews, I know that, and I'm definitely interested in checking those out. This first book was, I think it was really good. I personally really enjoyed it. Yes, I thought the plot was a little confusing at times, but I think the characters were great. I liked how there wasn't really a romance going on in this first book. I overall just really, really enjoyed it and I gave it four stars. The next book I read this month was Hamilton The Revolution by Lynn manuel Miranda and Jeremy McCarter. This is a nonfiction book that tells the story of how Hamilton the musical came to be and I 
loved this book. I listened to this on audiobook as well, but I also was reading along at the same time and I really enjoyed it. I did theater for four years during high school and I was just brought back to those crazy busy days when I used to be at rehearsal after school during my time reading this book. I really, really enjoyed it. And this is, again, recollection of how Hamilton came to be. And also there is song, the song lyrics to go along. So it also has Lin-Manuel Miranda's uh, or annotations here on the side if you guys can see it, which I thought added a really great touch to the story. And I ended up giving this a five out of five stars. The next book I read in the month of November was Ignition and this is by William Hawk. This is an advanced reader's copy. This comes out on December 5th and I really enjoyed it. This is a YA dystopian novel that follows our main character William who wakes up one day and he finds out that his change agent 3 status has been activated which is kind of a superhero like power and that kind of changes the way his, he actually wakes up on his birthday and it affects the way his the rest of his birthday uh, goes and then we've also followed Grace who has had her change agent activated a few months previously and she's actually in a coma during the first half of this book and together they have to team up and kind of save the world from there it was an interesting first book I definitely gave it high marks for being original it was a little info dumpy at times but I really enjoyed it and I gave this one four stars as well the last two books I read this month were on ebook the first one of those being every heart a doorway in this is by Shannon McGuire I hope I said that right I apologize if I did not this is a YA fantasy novel that follows characters young kids who have been transported into portal world so places like Wonderland and Narnia and that kind of situation and they are sucked back into the real world and their parents send them off to this kind of boarding school-esque place called Eleanor West Home for Wayward Children I believe that's what it's called and there's also a murder mystery going on which I thought was really cool I love this book it's been getting a lot of praise on booktube especially in the past year and a half or so I think it was great. We have a lot of representation. We have an asexual main character. We have a trans side character. That's just a couple. There's a whole lot more that's discovered in the other books that have already come out. I really, really enjoyed this and I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars as well. And the last book I read in the month of November was Haven and this is by Mary Lindsay. This is a YA paranormal book that follows our main character his name is Rain and one day he, his mother has just died and he is sent off to live with his aunt who he's never met and in this town that she lives in there's a lot of weird stuff going on. This takes place in Texas and she, he meets a girl whose name is Freddie. She goes by Freddie throughout the entire book and this is kind of a beauty of the history telling because the tagline of this book is like beauty's Beauty sometimes can be the beast or something along those lines. This definitely deals with the Beauty and Beast tale we all know and love. And there's werewolves and that kind of stuff. It was an interesting book. I'm personally not the biggest fan of paranormal books. I haven't been since I read Twilight and that was over a decade ago. So it was a little bit like Twilight. The romance especially was a lot like Twilight. But there was also a mystery element going on which I found very interesting. I didn't really like the characters but the murder mystery that was going on through the majority of this book was very intriguing and I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. And that is everything I read in the month of November guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have my video where I talk about the top 10 books I want to read in 2017 video linked down below if you guys are interested on in checking that out. I'll also have all my social media links linked down below. As so those include my Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and blog. Again, those are all linked down below. And with all of these said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching, bye.